this is Shasha SJ. Today we are going to review the automatic foam soap dispenser. Anyway, I know it's kind of, I'm way far. <laughs> I'm supposed to um, review the all kinds of uh, crafting stuff, but today we are going to go out of the way edge. This is an automatic foam soap dispenser. It's not one of my niche, but who cares, right? Anyway, I'm going to review this when I get this in the mail. It's been a long time. I always have like stuff in the mail and I am so way behind. I'm so behind. And you know when you work and then you work and work and then you just saw your box of full of stuff that's from the mail. And I was like, okay, I got this. Anyway, today... We are going to review this automatic foam dispenser. Long time ago I have the this kind. I know this is my old one. And to be honest, I got this only for like two weeks and they give up. It gives up on me. And I don't know why, but the problem that I don't like is that there's a turn on and off. This is you turn it on and then you turn it off. I don't know what's the problem, but it starts leaking underneath. The battery is right here. And maybe because the water will go in there, or I don't know what's going on, but it gives up on me right away. It's been like two weeks and it's not working. It makes sounds. As you can hear it, it makes sounds, but no soap is coming out in it. And the battery are new. And nothing comes out. So... There is no name in it, but I just got this in the mail. It was a, uh, there's no name, but uh, if you can see it, this is the, this is the sound. That's, that's, that. see, there's nothing come out. This is the look of it. Other side, and this is when you open it for when you put the soap in that area. And... I was like, I really want to have one. And I have like one, two, one in my bathroom, upstairs. I think I have four. And they give up on me. Very quick. That's it. And they go to the garbage. But that's okay. Anyway, now we are going to review this one. I don't know if how many days this one is going to take for me. So I have to try this out and... I have to review this. This it says it's an automatic foam soap dispenser. It will foam out. See that? So we'll see how it goes. And there's a sensor. That area. And yeah. I hope this will last long for me. But I don't know. My, my other one lasts only for uh, two weeks. <laughs> And, oh, that is pretty. Okay, that's really nice. And here's the instructions. And we need a... Okay, I need some English down here because I cannot understand. Okay, here's the English part. It says... You have to have a triple A, no, double A, sorry, double A battery and add the correct foaming sanitizer. You have to avoid immersing the machine in water. Of course, common sense, you don't want to immerse it, right? Normally, there is no need to turn on and off. And when the battery is low, the indicator lights will be red. Oh, that's interesting. So, okay. I am trying to find out how to put this water because it says I think you have to put half and half on something. So I'm trying to figure this if this is a water or this is a soap or something in this picture. I am I am a like to observe, but I'm usually don't like to read instructions. But this time I will. Because I'm a good girl. <laughs> okay. Prevent 
leakage battery if the equipment used for a long time remove the GHE battery in the usage method first pour the bubbling liquid in the bottle according to, to the consistency of liquid two to three times two to three times of water is added to mix evenly no shaking first add more water and if it foam is if the foam is too thin add a little liquid oh okay so maybe when you put one scoop of soap so you have to put you have to double it the water or three so one scoop of soap and then put the liquid of water which is three two or three scoop of water I don't know if that makes sense because it says here consistency of liquid due to three times of water is added to mix evenly no shaking don't shake it don't shake it okay all right let's go figure this out all right and today we are going to check this one if this one really works my son is in the background he is watching a movie so just bear with me guys all right oh so this is what I like I like it because the battery is right behind it so this one I like it it's the other one that I have is way is at the bottom this one is at the bottom and it's kind of like close to the heavy of the water here in I don't know but you know what I mean anyway sorry about that noise and here is the sensor I think that that must be the sensor and yeah, I like it because the liquid form is right here. It's not on the back right here because when the battery is in the bottom, it could make it, you know, the liquid might go through the, you know, those any areas that might be supposed to be not to be in there. It says here, there's an instruction right here. Please use foam hand sanitizer or liquid soap sanitizer. Mixes with at a ratio of one is to third and turn it into Loxor's foam poured into a soap dispenser. So maybe, oh, this is really nice. Look at that. Pretty nice. I like that. Maybe if we put a a quarter of it and then put the rest of water all the way down through. So that would be better. What do you think, guys? But for now, I will do it and we'll see how it goes. And I have this dial soap with coconut water and mango. It smells so good. Mm, smells good guys and me anyway let's do this bear with me I'm going to pour some in here I'm putting just a quarter of it it's not even that much but it will just create a foam on it bear with me guys you don't need to put a uh, soap that was has a that has a beads on it okay now I already poured some soap down here a liquid soap and I'm going to add a water you know I love blue I'm excited Alright, and then all you have to do is just shake it. Make sure it's it's all mixed up with the liquid and water. Now I just use my hand, you guys, to see. <laughs> okay, and there you 
go. And my son would love to do this sometimes. And put them inside. Remember guys that you do not use a soap that contains beads, exfoliants, sand and pumice, okay? Pumice. All right. So, here we go. Oh yeah, of course, I forgot to put some battery on. Let's put some battery on it. I have this energizer. Okay, so we'll see how this one works, all right? I hope I'm not gonna create a mess down here on my table, but oh well. And here we come. Let's go see how this one turns on. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So when you turn this on, this is to turn on and off. I've been playing around this. Guys, I was like, what is going on? I don't realize what's going on. But anyway, as you can see, when you turn this on, there is a light going to pop up down here in this little eyes. If it's red, that means it's off. And if it's blue, that means it's on. So as you can see, I hope it will show on my camera. That's blue, that means on and then red that is off okay it does works really really well and is very impressing and i'm impressed with it so i'm going to turn this on and i will show you how this one works okay it is a very very nice so as you can see that is a lot that is very very awesome i like it so much I'm going to call my son and we'll see how or what he will say about it, okay? Be right back. What do you think? Good. I got some soap. Now I'm going to rub it together. That's a lot of soap, huh? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Right. Proven and tested by a little kid. So here you go. And yep, it is really, really nice, guys. I am very impressed. And yeah, if you want this item, you go check them out the description down below down there. And give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. That would be so so much helpful and thank you guys for watching i really 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 appreciate it love you guys you have an awesome day bye